But I actually need your help if you can. Very disappointing. Back to the channel guys, it's another video on the Fiat Barchetta. I want to say a big thank you first to everyone that subscribed to the channel. I think we're up to about well, nearly, well, almost 300, that's the next milestone, I think. Um, so, if you haven't subscribed already, then you know what to do. Click on that button, and then if you want to know when the video drops, then hit the notifications bell as well. That's my neighbor over here's gate. So, in this video, because we're waiting for parts to arrive to fix the problems with the inspection, uh, we're going to do a couple of little jobs on the engine. So we're going to do a bit of detailing, I think that's what they call it now. Um, going to paint something and going to fix the air filter cover as well. Um, so the bits that we're waiting to arrive are the rear silencer, because uh, it's got a hole in the old one as you probably saw in the last video. I don't want to get it welded or anything because it's already been welded a few times before and it just looks like it's about to fall off anyway. So that's going to get replaced and also some bits for the brakes and also some new screws for the brake calipers. So I managed to get some original Fiat screws, there they are, but I actually need your help if you can. I need to know what the torque spec is for these. Um, that's the torque spec I used before, I'll put it up on screen now. I wondered if I tightened them up too too much, which is why it snaps, or maybe it was just because it was old. But anyway, if you know what the correct torque spec is for these, then um, put something in the comments, please, and, and, and let me know. Um, I greatly appreciate it. All right, so let's get to the video. It's a bit windy outside today, so we're sheltering in, in the garage. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the air filter. In their wisdom, they've actually tucked the air filter up underneath the car. It's actually fairly easy to get out. You don't need to jack the car up to, uh, to remove it. But the only problem you've got with having this on the underside of the car is that it's a bit exposed to damage. So if you go over a bump or a stones fly up or something like that, it can sort of break the, break the plastic. So that's what we're going to do today. So as you can see on, on this one here, where it's at road level, it's obviously had some sort of impact damage there, it's split and cracked there. So when the air filter's in, it's sort of sucking air in where it should be. What we need to do is clean up these splits, put some sort of glue on them and repair that hole, and then it's good to go. One thing that would be interesting to hear from other Fiat Barchetta owners is I've seen a few um, people that have put the, the cold air intake in and sort of bypass this whole system. So I'm just wondering if, if you've done that and you've got the cold air filter in, I just wondered if it's, uh, if it's a better performance or you get a better sound from the engine or, or how you find it. So yeah, in the comments below, if, if you've made that sort of upgrade, then let me know and sort of if it's uh, if you think it's worth doing uh, it might be something we can do here on the channel okay so now we've got the cover off the car i think i'll tape it from the inside actually i'll tape it from the outside and then fill it from there all right leave that to dry and then we'll come back to it uh, in a minute Okay, let's get the cover off. I'm just going to take this top cover off and paint it. I'm not going to take the other part of the valve cover off underneath because um, I need to get a new gasket, I think, for that. So we'll see how this turns out. If this comes up look good, then what I'll do in another video is I'll take that one off as well, clean that one up, and give that paint either the, maybe the same colour or different, I'm not sure. But for now, let's take this one off. They're all loose, so I need to take off. There's two little screws here as well. So Allen head bolts. I'll take those off. Let's keep them safe. Yeah. 
Let's see the gas getting used to changing there, I think. It's a bit leaking. So we'll paint this cover for now because I've got loads of obviously loads come up I need to do. And we can fix this um, another time. So there's our cover. I need a good old sand down and a good clean um, to get it ready for paint. So the paint I'm going to use, it says it doesn't need an, um, any sort of primer. So I'm just going to get um, a good clean, a good sand down, and then just spray directly onto this. All right, so here's the paint I'm going to use. Okay, that's where I got it from. I've, um, they're not sponsoring, but they, um, they were pretty good with the customer service and it arrived quickly. So let's see what color we've got. There we go. So it's not just red, it's Wrinkle Plus. So you get that, um, that powder coating effect. So I got the idea. Um, for doing it on this car because if you look at um, the Barchetta's Italian cousin, the Ferrari, they use uh, the powder coating effect on their valve covers so I thought it would be good to, to put it on here rather than just paint it like a gloss or something like that just to paint it with something that gives it the, that little bit of sort of that crinkly wrinkle effect like powder coating. So that's it, let's get the, the cover prepped and then we can start spraying. Okay I've got some 280 which I'll start sanding with. So the good thing about the wrinkle paint is because it goes on um, quite thick and it's got that wrinkle effect that uh, even if you sort of go higher with the grade of sandpaper and you scratch it a bit it's still going to get covered up by the paint. before we start spraying. There we go. Okay, just gonna wait five minutes now for that coat to dry, then I'm gonna spray again. Right, that's it for now. I'm just going to leave it overnight and then we'll see what it looks like in the morning. Okay, it's the next day. Let's go and check out the, the wrinkle finish. See how it looks. The car had to stay out all night. Normally it's in the garage, but let's go and have a look. Let's see what we've got. Right, this is it. Actually, that is very disappointing. It's um, I don't know. The, the the wrinkle is it's hardly any wrinkling, and it's very it seems to be very uneven. I don't know if you can see that. So what I think we're gonna have to do is give it another coat <clears throat> or two coats, and this time I think rather than let it dry naturally, which is actually what it says on the tin, I'm gonna try the heat gun and try and get a better finish. I think the best way to show you is in the, in the sunlight. It's come out pretty well actually. A lot better than I expected. Um, I've done sort of quite a few coats and used up pretty much the whole can. What I'm going to do is rub the lettering down and then I'm actually going to paint them. So paint the Fiat logo, 16V FD black and then, and then Barchetta in white. Uh, I'm chuffed with that. That's good. I just need to give the letters a quick sand down before I paint them. I was going to leave it bare metal, but I think this might make it look a little bit, a bit better, a bit more special.
almost forgot the air filter cover. So the repair has come out quite well. Look inside, that's all dried nicely. All the cracks are covered up. Let's take the tape off here. So that's ready to go back on the car. Did you enjoy the video? I hope you did. If you did, then please subscribe. It really helps the channel to grow. And also hit the notifications bell, then you'll get a little message when the video drops and then you can watch it straight away. I think the VHT wrinkle paint turned out really well, especially with the painted logos. Just don't look too close to the, the, the painted logo. A few tiny little mistakes in there, but nothing too bad. All right, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.